Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and what am I doing right now? You don't know this area so much. This is a different map, and I don't know... Uh, yeah, I have brought you here once before. This is a special map, and you can see that I am not in survival mode. This is not a survival map. This is a creative world, and it is my test world. And why am I here? This is not a Building the City or Jungle Island Adventures. No, this is a little special for you. Uh, this is a thank you, uh, because as you may have been aware of, you may not have been, if you've been watching my channel or Twitter, you will know that I recently hit 100 subscribers, and I wanted to give a little thank you to you, and so I wanted to share this with you. This is my testing world. You can see a lot of stuff right around spawn. Um, some of the initial contraptions that I was putting together. Some designs. You may recognize this from, from my base on the Adventure Time server. I was trying out different designs for the tunnels. Um, but the reason I'm starting out right here is because this is spawn and you're going to start out here because I'm going to provide this map as a world download to you. So let me explain a little bit about it. Let me turn down the music first. Now most testing worlds that you have encountered you've probably seen them as super flat worlds with the redstone ready preset. And I tried one of those when I first got into Minecraft but uh, it, it did not work so well when I wanted to mess with snowmen because the redstone ready world is marked as a desert biome and snowmen did not stay alive for longer than three seconds and so what I did is I came in generated a random world and ended up with this start out in a swamp area it's pretty nice I ended up burning down most of the, the uh, what is it? all the trees that's just because I wanted to play around with the flints and steel but uh, I try out a bunch of different stuff here. Designs for uh, like aesthetics. So you can see that here. Different redstone contraptions. I'm trying out some rail mechanics here. Uh, this thing is a design by Siberian Hat. It is a rain detector. And it ends up sending a pulse to a command block that clears the weather. So it turns off the rain. Because I really don't like it. Uh, the other thing... Got item elevators so a lot of this stuff right around spawn is from early on when I started playing Minecraft so this is before I was recording um, you may note the design here for the lighthouse and if you fly around some mostly that direction and up into the extreme hills that way um, you will see more of those because I tried out a bunch of different diameters and materials and we're going to have an issue with these things loading in. Right here you can see the, uh, the little hut. We've got the dragon egg there because I have been to the end and I killed the dragon. Uh, but highly cheaty. But, uh, but yeah. Um, there is a jungle that way and it's got a fishing hut in it. And that's the one I think I've shown you. Uh, but yeah, this is just to give you an idea of how to get around. So you can take a fly around yourself if you so desire. There's another of the designs of the lighthouses. And the reason I ended up going with sandstone instead of quartz is because I was deathly afraid of the nether at that point in my Minecraft career. Uh, things are a little bit different now as you may have figured from the l one of the recent episodes on Adventure Time where I went and collected a bunch but here we go here's some more of the redstone this is later on we're having some major loading issues these are the various day gates that I was trying out daylight sensors opening and closing depending on time of day was playing around with portals uh, we'll just walk around here we go, we've got the item capacitor. I think that, yeah, that's what that is. It's building up. 
items build up in that chest and then eventually they move on to some further destination trying out comparator mechanics here uh, subtraction item the item uh, transport system over here is a set of furnace systems that I was trying out and this is the one I ended up going with right here uh, I'll go over here it's somewhat haphazard as one might expect depending on what strikes my fancy at the time this what is this oh this is for um, testing out a double pulser for the chicken cooker on my base on multiplayer server I can't remember what that is anyway uh, there's the farm nano farm we've got design possibilities for the enderman farm the entrance and the tunnel there's the back I was trying out stuff for that playing with playing with pistons and powering so this is where I go if I ever want to test out any mechanics and sometimes I just leave my experiments hanging around there's a Jeb door not Jeb door they just have a piston in the floor and in the ceiling Let's see, what else? Over here, these are the various designs I did for the no-climb cow farms. So we can see ones with water, ones without water, just redstone. Um, this is item elevator testing. This is spider spawner or spider XP farm testing. Just trying out different things. There's the kill mechanism. Not quite what I wanted. Does that work? How's that going? No, it's just on. Ah, yeah, that's broken. There's a double piston extender. There's another one. And this is the design I used in my base on the multiplayer server to get behind certain things. And that's the door right there, the stair block. Over here, we've got a spider XP farm, spider grinder, and this might seem familiar to you. Does that seem familiar? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. This is where I did the redstone and overall design um, look and feel. This is where I was trying out how to build those AFK fish farms so I could do it more quickly on camera with you yeah so there we go I practice episodes here too this uh, Enderman farm I think or mob farm here are doors it's that 3 by 3 funnel door that I was uh, that I did the tutorial on this was oh yeah I was trying out sending villagers up a channel using lava as long as you give them a fire resist potion they are perfectly fine this might seem familiar it's a it's the gold farm from my base on jungle island adventures here i've been playing around with putting a reed farm in it because it works out just great uh this is more mob farm design what else we've got a lot of stuff here so it's just pretty much whatever catches my fancy and due to the chunk rendering we're probably not going to see everything uh, let's see what's this aha uh -huh, yep yeah so we're, we're having some loading issues there's villager transport there's the villager statue I was playing around with reed farm designs some more cow farm yeah that's more cow farms over here, what do we got? You know, I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, got it. That's the nano farm. That's another one of the doors I was playing with. So, yeah, we've pretty much made a full circle. 
And I would have liked to have shown you where I did the church building, but I can't seem to find it right now. And we're having issues loading stuff in. So maybe we'll catch it. Oh, here we go. This is testing out the lava and water cobblestone generator. Yeah. Well, maybe you can fly around and find it. I can't right now. So we're just gonna we're just gonna stop. This is getting this is getting painful. But uh, but yeah, there's my test world. Let me know what you think. If you find something that uh, you're not quite sure about, feel free to ask me. I would be more than happy to answer your your questions. And uh, feel free to just poke around and play around with stuff. But I am providing that for you. Let me know what you think. And uh, I do want to say a big thank you. Um, you know, you've been liking and sharing and commenting, and it's just a lot of fun interacting with the community. And uh, and you're part of that, and you're part of the reason why we're at a hundred subscribers. And uh, here's to more. Okay, so so we're going to continue this and. Uh, you can keep having fun, okay? Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.